intended to motivate students is now causing some controversy online. A viewer sent us the video. According to some parents at Lakewood High School in Sumter, Jeez. where it was played, they feel, some feel, it's inappropriate. The video features students from Sumter schools rapping about the importance of going to college. Ashley Jones reports on the meaning of the song. Well, some students here at Lakewood High School in Sumter were featured in the video, and while they are concerned about the backlash that they're receiving, they still say that the message is one that needs to be heard. The video was shot at Claflin University this summer during the Gear Up program. Gear Up is a grant-based program with a mission to prepare students for college. We made the video as, you know, Gear Ooh. Up for Gear Up. They've done so much for us since seventh grade. Quindon Dayas is a senior at Lakewood High School. He was in the video as well as all the students standing behind him. We've taken college trips. We've taken, we did the Claflin experience, stayed in a week at Claflin. They provide us school supplies when we don't have them. They give us so many options, college fairs. And students can also receive scholarships for attending. Quindon says the video was meant to inspire kids to want to pursue a higher education. The song begins with a spoken word addressing what the students describe as disparities black people face. Here's a snippet of that spoken word. I'm black. I'm black, man. And what can I say? That I'm tired of code switching every single day? But WIS has received comments from parents stating their displeasure with the video. One parent called it racially insensitive and inappropriate. I showed those comments to a parent of another student featured in that video. It, it devastated me. Cheryl Moy says people are overlooking the message behind the song. They were actually trying to reach their peers where they are in a form that they can relate to. They were not in no means trying to offend anyone, and I can tell you they were not expecting this to happen. Another parent wrote that his daughter was forced to watch the video in order to get her student ID. I reached out to district officials about that allegation, and they say it's not true. Students were issued student IDs last Thursday. And the principal here at Lakewood High School issued a statement on the school's Facebook page stating that she apologizes for anyone who feels that the video lacked representation. But Quindon says that all all students were given the opportunity to participate in the program. Reporting here in Sumter, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10. All right, Ashley, thank you very much. Well, looking at news across the Midlands, officials held a ceremony today commemorating a head of cities.